Okay, okay, okay. Yo, people, my name is Fats Timbo. This is my first ever YouTube video. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Literally, I have been wanting to start a YouTube channel for the longest time. And if you know me, you know I've been saying, Oh, I want to make a YouTube video about this and that, you know, telling my ideas to everyone. But everyone tells me, Fatima, why don't you just start? And what's been stopping me to start um, is me being nervous, me being anxious about actually doing it, you know. That's what made me procrastinate for so long. But I'm on this thing now, I'm doing it, and here I am. So I want to talk about my dwarfism story with you guys. I think that's a good way of getting to know me because I don't, re don't want to really start a YouTube channel and just get on with videos and you notice that I'm different. Um, I'd rather speak about it first. It's like it's like noticing the elephant in the room. You know what I mean. So it's like I want to. I'd rather speak about it first. You guys have a background knowledge about it, and then start proper start with um, videos. So let's get on to the video. So the reason why I want to start my YouTube channel is because I want to share my life experiences as a little person with the world. So I'm four feet tall which is the average height of a six-year-old which makes life a bit difficult for me sometimes but I still get on with it. Also I want to inspire people um, who may have self-esteem issues, insecurities, self-love issues that it's okay to have these insecurities and you know these issues with yourself because there's other people who feel exactly the same way you know for example when I was younger um, I used to hate myself I used to be suicidal I used to hate even looking at myself in the mirror because I'm so different to everyone else like may, may, some people might see me and think okay she's not that different but when you go outside and people stare at you and look at you and laugh at you it's like a reminder of you being different so um, I've overcome that now and you know I love myself so much now and I look at myself and I think I've overcome so much in my life um, in my 21 years of living like it's it's crazy but yeah I've achieved so much and I just want to share that with you guys I want to share that um, knowledge that I've uh, like knowledge that I've um, learnt over the years also I want to show other pe other little people who are maybe watching my videos that you know it's okay to be different as well. Um, I, I'm guessing that I'm not the only little person who's probably gone through um, a lot of issues and a lot of um, heartache and stress from other people or maybe even um, like family members as well that um, may treat you differently you know because it's not just um people who give you a hard time it's your surroundings because being a little person it's not it's not the it's not the easiest because this world is not really built for little people you're basically a little person in a big world so adjustments need to be made and they can't always be there as well at the same time so it can it can be difficult but i want to show little people that it's okay to be different just be happy <laughs> my story as a little person started when my parents thought i might be a little person uh, when my mum was six months um pregnant with me um they did scans on her and you know they noticed that my development in the womb wasn't at a normal pace as an average um, baby so they called a meeting the director even came <laughs> they called a meeting with my parents and they told them that I could either have Down syndrome or I could either have dwarfism and my parents asked them what is she most likely to have and they said she's most likely to have dwarfism so I think that kind of influenced their decision to um, keep me so they called the meeting to um, discuss whether they want to keep the pregnancy or terminate me but obviously they, they didn't I'm here today you know 
Um, yeah, so my parents decided to keep me and um, six, three months later, um, I was born. My parents, they said, they told me that they didn't notice anything wrong with me when I was born. But um, I read in an article about um, people with dwarfism that we look normal as we when we come out um, as a baby. But um, our development, uh, our development is very slow. So um, they said that as I was growing as a baby, it was my development was very slow and uh, features of a little person was showing. So obviously the no bridge of the nose, um, big forehead, obviously I'm covering it, <laughs> but yeah, we have bigger foreheads than the average person and bow, my bow legs were showing as well, webbed fingers, I have small fat sausage fingers which I love today, but um, yeah, so that started to show and I guess the first time I noticed that I was a little person was when I was in nursery and I was so so tiny everyone was way bigger than me and to be honest with you I didn't see it as not normal because that's my normal in a way so yeah I guess that's how my story started as a little person um, yeah comment below as well comment below some video ideas that you would love to see from me and also I want you guys to follow me on my social medias so um, follow me on my Instagram Fats Timbo and follow me on my snapchat Fatima Timbo 9 um, also subscribe <laughs> subscribe to see more videos from me and yeah bye guys see you on my next video bye Yo people, my name, yo people, <sighs> why do I keep getting wrong, I keep looking at myself, not at the lens, how annoying, let me start again, yo people, my name is Fats Timbo, get this right, get this right, Yo people, my name is Fats Timbo. This is my first ever YouTube channel, so not my YouTube channel, my first ever YouTube channel.